Awesome. Eric, yeah. first things first, high diving or cliff diving? Um, cliff diving. What's the highest cliff you've jumped so far? 76 feet. Okay, I subtitled that in meters. Um, yeah. <laughs> 24 meters. That is awesome. What is your family thinking if they know that you are out of there jumping 77 feet slash 24 meters? Uh, my mom often asks me, like, do you really need to do this? And generally I say yes. Okay. And have you ever had any injuries or did you happen to see and experience any injuries uh, from somebody else? Um, I've just like tweaked my knee or tweaked an ankle before. I've never really had a bad crash. Uh, but the spot that we jump at all the time um, has two huge crosses on it from two different people that died in, I think, uh, the late 90s. And, you know, there's a, there's actually the, a big uh, metal thing lasered into the rock that says, please don't jump in loving memory of such and such. Um, so, yeah. yeah you you got to be aware of this kind of shit, but um, don't drunk, jump drunk. That's, <laughs> that's what it comes down to. Yeah, that's what I heard a lot. Knowing that there's... Uh, death around the corner when you do cliff diving. Is there anything that would stop you completely from doing cliff diving at all? Just if it didn't feel right. Like, like I, I trust my intuition pretty well these days. Um, and that's, uh, that's about it. Are you talking about... Um, no, I mean like, uh, you know, family or uh, a new love in a different country or a job concerning things like that. I mean, I, I live a freelance life. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm pretty good at not having responsibilities outside of, uh, outside of my work life. Yeah. yeah. I see. What's, um... If you're jumping from that fucking height, uh, tell the people out there what it feels like. It's fun. Um, you, the, the feeling of weightlessness is, is something special. Um, and I've always enjoyed that. I love scuba diving, skydiving, uh, largely because they put your body in an atmosphere that is unlike what we experience on the ground. Um, It's just a very different feeling. Okay, and when you're going from that height, um, no matter how perfect you enter the water, there is this little, little pain on your body. Is there a little masochist living inside you? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe a bit. Um, but I think, I think a lot of things that, uh, that, that are rewarding involve... A little bit of sacrifice and yeah I mean if that wasn't there it would be almost too easy and it wouldn't be as fun yeah knowing pain knowing that people already died from that um, but still sacrificing kind of a part of your life for it what's your inner personal motivation for continuing doing cliff diving um, challenge Challenging myself, uh, trying to to do things that that scare me. Frankly, um, I like pushing my boundaries. I I grew up as a very timid child. Uh, I I didn't like getting my hands dirty. I didn't like um, doing scary things. So to to grow as a person, I feel like this is necessary. When you're out there diving in your country or anywhere else, do you, do you generally dive alone? Uh, sometimes, but, but I'll never do anything that's out of my comfort zone alone. Uh, always, always want people there if you're pushing it. Yeah, the people that are you're with at those moments mm -hmm. um, are... Th those people like a little family to you? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, 
it's a beautiful thing to be able to share a passion with with a group of people. Um, so yeah, I mean, in in many cases, those kind of people are more family than family. Yeah. And concerning, uh, like, classic sport, whatever, uh, mm -hmm. tennis, whatever, um, have you done anything else except, like, freestyle extreme sports? Oh, uh, definitely. Uh, I used to play American football, um, water polo. I still play. Uh, I was a competitive swimmer. I don't know if that is in the same realm. Yeah, kind of. And... Um, And then as a kid, you know, we all played soccer, basketball, and uh, and all that stuff. Is the the baseball, football um, family a different family than cliff diving? Yeah. So uh, I I think I think these uh, these more I don't know how you want to put. It. I hate the term extreme sports or action sports. Like there's there's got to be a better word for it. But these these individual sports uh, that that. Uh, Are, are more about pushing yourself and your, your own consciousness. Um, I think inherently they require more passion because you have to dedicate so much of yourself to it. Um, whereas some of these other things, you know, you go play the game and then you try and get chicks and <laughs> do, do your party thing and what, sure. whatever. But like, I don't know. Cliff diving, snowboarding, skating, surfing, these are things that like I dream about consistently. Uh, can't get enough of. And yeah, there's just there's nothing quite quite like it. Um, especially when you you push yourself to a point that you didn't know you could get to. When when you are able to surprise yourself. Yeah. That's that's the best. Yeah, nice. That's true, actually. When you go to a different, uh, higher height, or do even one more somersault, that's always way better than just hitting a ball with a racket or whatever. And that's another thing is is having this family around um, is such great motivation to 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 see what someone else is doing uh, and be like, ah, oh, maybe I can do that. Um, I think I think all these sports, like uh, I think the first. First backflip on a motorcycle was done by Mike Metzger in in the early 2000s, I think. And up to that point, everyone thought it was completely impossible. And once he did it, six other people did it within the same year. And now people are hucking double backs. And uh, Travis did a triple, I believe, onto at least a mat. And it's it's just absolutely nuts how how motivating that kind of family can be. Yeah. Motivating and um, craziness are always getting hand in hand. Mm -hmm. What's the craziest thing you've done so far concerning like cliff diving, maybe traveling or meeting strange people or whatever? Craziest thing? Um, I don't know. I, 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 think, I think one of the most unique things is... Uh, is how how tight the community is and how you know you can show up to a waterfall in the middle of the woods like a couple states away or a country away and just run into one of your friends from home um not even knowing they were supposed to be there yeah. so that's happened to me a few times and that's always interesting yeah nice yeah if you liked this video you might want to take a look at another video or even subscribe to my channel It doesn't hurt, but I'm pretty sure it makes the world a better place.